Hey guys, just wanted to show you guys what I just got from M14. We have all five intro packs. Kind of exciting. And also have a box right here. Anyways, sorry about the mess. Let's get in to the box. I'm kind of excited to see what exactly I got in this. I'm going to have to try and zoom in. You definitely can see the mess of my room in this framing right now. Oh, whoa. There you go. Just getting into it. I hear a lot of people are getting some pretty crazy pulls from M14 so far. So let's open up the first pack and see what I get. I don't know too much about it, but anyways, we have uh, Sanguine, Bond, Enlarge, Molten Birth, uh, Brewery Pack Alpha. That's the first ones. I'll actually put the... Rares to the side. This is definitely going to be going over 10 minutes. Oh, I'm actually losing battery life right at this moment, so I don't know how much longer this will actually go on. Hopefully for a little bit longer. Anyways, we have... I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Into the Wilds. At the beginning of your upkeep, you look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it into your battlefield. Battle Sliver, uh, Corrupt, Melstone. There we go. Hopefully, we get the Angel, which would be really nice. Really need to get a new uh, light for this. We have Pacify as our shiny, uh, Tide Binder's Mage. Uh, it's a 2 2. Uh, whenever Tide Binder Mage enters the battlefield, tap target red or green creature. An opponent controls that creature, doesn't untap during its uh, controller's untap step for as long as you control the Tide Drinker or Tide Binder Mage. We have Blessing, we have Tenacious Dead, and we have Flames of the Firebrand. So, how, how have you guys' pulls been for M14? I'm kind of excited to see what exactly I get. And this might be the shortest video I've ever done. Uh, we have Guardian of the Ages. Uh, artifact creature for 7. Uh, has Defender whenever a creature attacks you or a Planeswalker you control. If Guardian of the Ages is defending, it loses Defender and gains Trample. Phantom Warrior, Volcanic uh, Geyser, uh, Glimpse into the Future. Come on, battery, at least stay for a little bit longer. Alright, that's. Yeah, I guess this is where I'm going to stop. Dark Prophecy, whenever a creature you control dies, you draw a card and lose one life. Artificer's Hex, a Shimmering Grit Ghetto, and Banished Priest. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a... Well, I'm not done yet, but anyway, yeah. Alright, time to give it another pack opening. As you guys can probably see, things have changed a little bit. It's a little bit brighter, which is nice, because the sun is out now. Alright, we have uh, Accordion's Accorder's uh, Shield. We have uh, Witch Stalker, which is hexproof. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a blue or black spell during your turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Witch Stalker. Very nice card. Uh, oh, wow, I'm way out of focus there. Anyways, Accord's uh, Shield, Equipment, Shiny, which is really nice, uh, Witch Stalker, and Barrage 
Expandables. Yeah, uh, Staff of Death, Mangus, and Corrupt. Let's get that shiny out and that rare. Got five done, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, got all of those packs out. Doing a little bit different because the sun, the sun is shining on that side, so I have to do that. And it's a little bit awkward because I'm using my left hand, and I generally don't use my left hand. Oh, we have another shiny, uh, Cyclops. Cyclops Tyrant, uh, indestructibility, uh, enchant permanent, enchant permanent is indestructible, very nice, uh, congregate, I remember that card from, I think it was Ursa Saga, uh, Calorian, Clononian, Tusker, uh, Molten, uh, Birth, and that's it for shiny there, that there. Anyway, guys, how do you like the set so far? I've been kind of hearing like, uh, it's not that great, but it's okay. But it has a really nice card. Oh, nice. I have the emblem. I think that's probably a hard to get token. Um, a light arcanist. Ugh. Come on. A light arcanist enters the battlefield. Uh, you may exile an instant or sorcery card from your hand. Tap X. Tap it. Uh, copy the exile card. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. X is the converted mana cost of the exiled card. Uh, Staff of the Mind Mangus. Uh, Steel Form Sliver. Pretty nice. Uh, Shimmering Ghetto. The, where's the there it is uh, I'm definitely liking the slivers but it's uh, context of it isn't as uh, it used to be as everyone knows uh, I still like them though it uh, actually helps uh, out that person instead of uh, everyone else we have uh, sapphire of the sword uh, Seraph of the sword, sorry. Uh, creature Angel Flying Prevent All Damage that will be dealt to uh, Seraph of the sword. It's a 3 3 4 4. Uh, Staff of the Sun Mangus. Uh, Fire Shrieker. Uh, Glimpse into the Future. Eh. It's kind of hard to like do it like that. Not too bad of a rare. I'm not getting as crazy pulls as some people. I've noticed that some people are getting some crazy pulls. Jeremy from MTG Headquarters from his fat pack got like three mythics, which is insane. Uh, traumatize. Uh, target uh, player puts the top half of his or her library rounded down into his or her graveyard. <sighs> wow. That's pretty awesome. We have a windstorm. Oh, I kicked my tripod. Uh, Dark steel ignant. Igot, sorry. Spell blast. Yeah, I've not been fortunate. I've not got a planeswalker as of yet from this pack. I'm kind of looking for the Planeswalkers. Uh, Lifebane Zombie. Zombie Warrior. Intimidate. Uh, when uh, Lifebane Zombie enters the battlefield, uh, target uh, opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a green or white creature card from it and uh, exile that card. That's not too bad. Wall of Frost. Uh, vo Vial of Poison. Blech. And we have a Gnawing gnawing zombie just three more packs to go hasn't all been hasn't been all that exciting I think the emblem of uh, 
Garrick is probably pretty cool. And this pack's being a little bit difficult. Eh, there we go. Huge pile of cards. Oh, nice. Artifacts are as hex. Uh, into the wind, wild, sorry. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it into your battlefield. Nice. Elixir of Immortality. Not too bad. Uh, Fire Shrieker. Uh, Illusionary Armor. Nice to get some shinies in there. And second last pack. Yeah. Getting into it nice and easy. Uh, blog, <laughs> Pug, Drew, Brew, uh, Witch. Uh, search your library for a card named uh, Festering Newt or Bobbling uh, Cauldron. Put it into the battlefield tab, then shuffle your library. Interesting for sure. Phantom Warrior. Uh, Flames of the Firebrand. And Illusionary Armor. Uh, that rare is like... To me, very meh, as Jeremy would say. All right, last pack. Let's. Oh, not finishing strong at all. Uh, Ajani's chosen. Whenever enchant uh, enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a two-two white cat creature token into the battlefield. If the enchantment is an Aurora, you may uh. Attach it to the token. Eh, it's okay. Blessing, a uh, water servant, and we have a bubbling cauldron, which is actually helpful for the last card. Last, last rare I got. Eh, cannot speak today. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, no, I'm going to actually go over the rares again if you guys want me to. So we have a Sanguine Bond. Into the Wilds, uh, Tidebinder Mage, Guardian of Ages, Witch Stalker, Indestructibility, Alight Arcanist, uh, Seraph uh, of the Sword, I'm saying that wrong, but Trent, uh, tra Traumatized, that's what I'm looking for. Lifebane Zombie, Into the Wild Again, uh, Blog Witch, uh, Bog Brew Witch, A Johnny's Chosen. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.